It's a military maneuver, you know. What of Omar? Later on, it got him. We heard him yelling as it carried him away. Did you see where this thing took him? Somewhere in there. Well, we couldn't really tell where. The ground was obscuring our view. While practicing your military maneuver. Precisely. Quite. Of all the... Duba! These men ran away, Sinbad. Plain and simple. They deserted their sultan at the first sign of trouble. Some loyalty. Bah! We will help in whatever way we can to search for our sultan. We will. We will endure any hardship or suffering. We'll accept your offer. Let's teach you a new military maneuver. Defense. This way! Come on! Be careful! There's more quicksand down here! It's bigger than our ship! And that's not our monster! What do you mean? Whatever crafted that bell and hung it around that animal's neck, that's our monster! A military maneuver! Excellent. Sinbad will never be able to outrun it. If that thing chases us, we'll be crushed beneath its hooves. Well, we just can't stay put. We're surrounded by quicksand. The only exit is that way. The bridge won't hold under that thing's weight much longer. Aside from that, the danger's minimal. Rams are herbivores. I hardly call being crushed under a landslide minimal. I can use one of my fireballs to seem to tide. No, too risky. The ram panics will all be buried alive. Can we last through it? Even a man of your strength couldn't budge it. You far? Oh. Come on, Jarvis. One more pass. You? I was worried about you, Maeve. And you never cease to amaze me. I think the feeling's mutual. Come back here, you brazen demon! Bring back my soldiers! Come back here and fight me, you coward! It's Omar! We knew he'd be safe. Come this way, the voice came from over here. Just be careful! We're bereft of weaponry. We have none at all. None. My men! My men! Bring back my men! Omar! Sinbad! My Sultan, we are here! We have come to rescue you! Set you free! Oh, my brave men! I knew you'd get help! Now to get you down! But you must hurry, Sinbad! I fear me the creature will return any time! The rest of your men? Sadly, I am the last! That thing has an appetite for flesh! It's coming back! Don't worry, Your Highness. I'll climb this tree and have you down in no time. There is no time. Off you go. Hurry. Save yourselves. Omar is right, Sinbad. If you climb that tree, you'll be stuck up there with him. The skyhook. <sighs> Quickly. Brother. Aim for the branch above Omar. We only have one chance. You can do it. Yes! Oh, 
quick! Hold on! The beast returns! Behind those rocks, now! We shouldn't overreact. It's probably just an ordinary human being afflicted with some strange disease. I know of one disease, elephantiasis. It, it could explain a very large fellow. Some cases grow to be eight feet tall. <laughs> and the thumbprint on that soldier's chest, it was as big as a horse's head. Well, there's this other condition, um, acromegaly. Uh, it causes one's hands and feet to grow very, very large. <laughs> We have to get off this island. The sooner the better. I'm with you there, little brother. Sinbad, I cannot leave this place. There's a village nearby full of innocent people, my people, stranded here by this monster, marooned. I promise to protect them with my army. Oh, Omar, they don't stand a chance. Well, neither do you if you try to stop that creature. Maybe if we all work together with the villagers. Why, we have brawn and brains on our side. as well as a healthy dose of sorcery. I can't ask you to take that chance. You haven't. We volunteered. We will do all we can. Mm, more even. Then it's settled. Omar, lead the way. On the plus side, this thing should be easy to track. This is all my doing, Sinbad. I should have taken action sooner. You knew about this beast? Oh, for a few months, yes. The colony was begun two years ago as a farming community to supply us on the mainland. Then I heard rumors that a terrible monster had landed, uh, human yet not human. The reports varied, of course. Um, citizen of the land of Amblyopia. <laughs> I've never heard of such a place. Supposedly on the other side of the world. And when this one-eyed behemoth landed with some of its livestock, it consumed the harvest. When it was done with the harvest, he began consuming the harvesters. At first I thought the reports were exaggerated, but I had to do something. I planned on goodwill to negotiate with the creature, man to man, yeah? The treasure chest on the beach. His for the taking. Didn't even make the shore. He was on us in an instant. You did your best. And 100 brave men died as a result. He behaved nobly, Omar. I found you can't reason with a wild beast. Being a bully is just part of their nature. With a wild beast, death is the only bargaining tool, my friend. Your Highness, is this village much further? Not far now, Duba. We're taking the longer route to avoid the bog pits that infest this place. 
I hope we make it before nightfall. I hate to think what that thing can do once darkness falls. <laughs> like we're a little too late. I say we leave this place. Take our longboats and head for the sea. The creature would never allow it. He's always stopped us before. I'd rather take my chances out there. We have to let the Sultan know. The Sultan is supposed to kill the beast. But the beast is killing us. Omar's deserted us. He doesn't care about poor farmers. He only cares about the rich, the powerful. Keep a civil tongue in your head, man. Oh, your Highness, I had no idea I spoke hastily in grief. I understand. I speak also in grief, my soldiers and sailors all slain by the monster. Only these brave men survived. They brought help, Sinbad and his crew. I cannot order you to stay. But if you do defend your homes, your dreams, we will stand with you. Together, prepare to fight to the death, eh, Sinbad? Aye. We'll prepare the village against a further attack and slay the Cyclops. Won't we? If we had the time, I could construct a giant crossbow. Some netting, using a variation on the skyhook uh, I'll take that as a yes. Well, most definitely a yes. Mm. Remember, the bigger they are, the harder... They are to kill. We'll need all these good citizens to help us. Time is a big concern. The Cyclops has gone off into the hills to digest his meal. He's usually gone for a day or two. Day or two. Fruz? If we work round the clock, we could make it. I'll need some papyrus and a writing tool to make some diagrams. I'll fetch some. And some netting. Lots of it. The stronger, the better. We'll get the fishermen at the ready. Excellent! Fruz, give me an order. Lumber. We need lots of lumber. <laughs> we brawny men will start immediately, eh? <laughs> Whatever you say, Your Highness. Maeve! Find a good spot to stand sentry. Have Dermot be our eyes and ears in the air. Hmm. I think we can manage that, hmm? And I don't want any member of my crew taking unnecessary chances. Especially the feathered ones. 